Welcome guitar players. So you finally bought your guitar and now you're asking yourself, do I need a case? Yes, you do. It's the safest way to store your instrument as well as travel with it, avoiding any damage. In today's video, we will discuss the several guitar cases that you can find on the market and as well as what are the pros and cons of them. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jose Guzman and today we talk guitar cases. We will start with a like $15 to $30 gig bag that you can find in your local music store. Uh, these tend to be very soft cases. As you can see, very flexible, right? So there's not a lot of protection to your instrument. Usually they bring a zipper. You bring a zipper here for you to put your music, right? For your lessons or cables. Um, if you're asking yourself, that guitar case looks really small. This is my Laguna Mini guitar travel case. Uh, so there's a reason why I, it's so small. Pros, yeah, pros, it's, it'll cost you 15 to 30 bucks. It's going to be pretty cheap, uh, pretty easy to get as well because you can get these in any music store. But again, there's not much protection to your instrument. We're going to move on now to gig bags with small padding all right so this is cases with k um, this is a little bit more sturdy as you can see holding it up so it's a little bit it's a little bit more padded and rugged right it can hold our instruments pretty simple plastic okay so this have this one the cases for k has a bag has a slot where you can put your music or you can also put cables as well as another zipper now this is your typical guitar case that's brought by the brand. In this case, it's a PRS, a Paul Reed Smith uh, guitar case. This came with my Paul Reed Smith. And it's pretty, pretty comfortable, very padded. Um, this one came with my instrument. So of course, the, the price of the case is you gotta buy the instrument. This is pretty much a nice, no, it's not wool, but it's some it's some cloth of sorts. Pretty nice to keep the, the guitar. It has like a little bit of extra padding in the bottom. So it also protects the guitar from taking heavy bumps as well as you can see these. Next on our list is the are the are the leather guitar cases. Uh, as you can see, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that the leather, because if you're not treating it correctly or bumps that the guitar case is going to take on the road, you can get blemishes like this. You can get tears like that. Um, if it gets stuck now, if now if it gets stuck on a zipper, if it gets stuck on, on a ledge, on a corner, now I can just rip the case. And then a case like this goes from a $75 to 150 and even more I've seen um, with some other brands. It has three small this one has three small pockets, so it's a little bit inconvenient for, for putting stuff in it. Other than that, it's a very really nice looking guitar case. Uh, it doesn't offer much protection in my opinion, since it's that flexible, okay? So this is not as sturdy as it looks. All right, so those are your bargain uh, guitar cases, right? Say that you wanna reach out to the next level, right, of guitar cases. And you, you can start then with a hard shell guitar case. In this case, this is a Juan Orozco uh, guitar case. So in this case, it's this is made out of wood. It's pretty, it's pretty solid. Um, has a several locks. It has four locks. And it's, it has plush inside. So it keeps the instrument from scratching. Okay. So you can see many years on the road with this one, okay? They're pretty solid, pretty solid option to protect your guitar case. Now we're moving on to the Reunion Blues guitar. Um, so these ones are very, very solid. Um, they are made of ballistic quadra weave material. In other words, it's pretty solid for the guitar. There's no guitar here, just in case. But it's pretty solid, as you can hear. Very nice. Oh, there's a guitar strap in there. 
as you can see, very plush inside, very beautiful. Um, it also has a strap for the guitar neck, you know, keeping it from, from breaking. Okay. Uh, it has a very good handle, the zero, they call it the zero G handle. It's pretty good, pretty firm. And as you can see behind me, I have all three models. So this is the electric guitar model. Um, this is for solid bodies. I have the Midnight Voyager. In this case, this is for semi-hollow body guitars. Uh, this one has been with me for 10 years and actually that's the reason why I picked it up. This this one has been with me for around 10 years. We've been traveling for a lot, right? A lot of gigs, as you can see, my Zero G handle, pretty nice still, pretty intact, pretty firm still. Um, the back straps, this is the only thing that I have. This is the only blemish that my guitar case has. Other than that, it's a great guitar case. I've, tr I've, I've accidentally dropped my guitar several times with this guitar case and it's been going great still. It's still working. Um, big pockets as well. For your music. And in this case, and also, it also brings a zipper in the back. For you to put more, you, uh, for you to put your, uh, for you to put your strings, you can put capos. You can also just put um, accessories, tuners, all those kind of stuff. And then right here, we have the acoustic and dreadnought guitar case from Re Reunion Blues. I use this one for either my classical guitar or I also use it for my hollow body guitar. Very solid. They're super worth it. So on the upper tier of your guitar cases, you're gonna find what's called carbon fiber guitar cases. These are amazing guitar cases that cost around 800 bucks. Uh, but these are professional cases used by virtuosos around the world. Uh, they're traveling on train, they're traveling on car, they're traveling on airplanes, right? Uh, and But their livelihoods depend on the instrument. So therefore, Get the, the carbon fiber case makes sense for them. Maybe for you initially it won't. Maybe if you do reach that professional stage in your career, maybe it's perfect, you can buy it. Uh, for me, in my case, I'm okay with the Reunion Blues and that seems to be working pretty well for me. That has been all for today's video. Please let me know if I helped you down below. Also, let me know what did you get, all right? Please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to keep yourself notified of my latest videos.